Hello everyone, happy Monday. Um, sorry if this video or this voice clip not matching with the video or if you hear background noises. I have a full house today, so I'll try my best to edit as much as I can. And so today we will be talking about how to do grayscale and to convert it into colors and procreate 5x or just procreate or if you have any other apps or any other drawing software it will work just as well make sure you click the link down below for brushes and other stuff all right i normally just use one gray color value for base and shadowing when doing one gray color you can adjust it how you want and you can go from light to dark or dark to light and and you can go from medium tone as well here is a screenshot of a grayscale made by his link her channel will be linked below to download her grayscale and more i take the third color from the top i use that as a base color and i adjust the color on where you can adjust the color of your brush And yeah, and I start using it from light to dark. And later on, you'll see me. If you're new to digital art, I would say keep everything on a separate layer. Like for example, your base on one, your shadowing on one, and your highlight on another. And I adjust my layer, I'll make it add as for highlights and soft light on another layer. As you can see, the screenshot I created with numbers, the numbers will help you out during this tutorial to see which color I am talking about. When I am using the color number three, I keep a new layer on top of the base layer to create, to cast shadow I don't have the shadow too dark, and if you have it too dark, you may need to render it later on. So what I mean by that, um, I'll have a, I'll try to do the the mid tones on top of the shadow, not under, and I'll start from there. So as you can see. I have the same female but different color skin. The first one is a medium skin tone, while the middle is the darkest and last is more of a lighter color. And I also saturated over the two lighter colors when I got ready to paint them. I just did one swash and then I did the highlight on top. and. Normally you don't have to do the shadow again on top, but if you want to, you can, if needed. So when doing it with grayscale, have your layer is set to overlay or multiply depending on the reference you used. How, well yeah, the reference you used, see how dark or like the skin tone is you want and you can also make your reference um, black and white you can even make it in procreate or you can do it right from your um from your gallery and change the change it to black and white so yeah also don't never use 
the darkest color from the grayscale. The only time you'll use the darkest grayscale is when doing hair, but you still want to adjust your brush opacity to like maybe 14 or 13 in your Procreate. Or if you're using other software, uh, change the opacity. And I say the only time you'll use the black color is for eyebrows, hair, or eyes at a certain time. Yeah, and this one I didn't really do a full on detail on how to do grayscale, but if you want to check that out more detail, uh, check out my Patreon. It's only $3 a month. And also click down below for merch. And I also sell my art. So yeah, I hope this helps a little bit. I will do part two, but more details are in my Patreon. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.